Hi everybody, Dan Moran here with Concierge Diamonds. Uh, I just recently got a question on Reddit that I thought would be easier to answer with a video than to type it all out because it's just too long to type. Um, the question was, how worried should I be about blood diamonds, about conflict diamonds in today? And today it's April uh, 16th of 2018. So in mid-2018, how worried should I be about conflict diamonds? And the, the answer I'm happy to report is not terribly. I don't think you need to worry about it too much. Uh, the reason for that is twofold. As you know, uh, as you may know, conflict diamonds used to make up a, a not insignificant portion of the market 35, 40, 50 years ago. They said that you know, as many as 15% of all diamonds being traded back then uh, were conflict diamonds. Today, that number is significantly less than 1%. It's, I'm not going to say it never happens, but it very, very rarely happens that a conflict diamond finds its way into the market. And the two reasons for that are, one, economics. Uh, today, if you're a scumbag African warlord, you have better options for making a quick buck than diamonds. Since the uh, advent of the Kimberley process and other internal mechanisms for monitoring conflict diamonds and making sure they don't enter the market, it's just not terribly profitable to try to sell conflict diamonds into the market. You're better off selling opium or guns or whatever else they're doing these days. Uh, there are definitely still bad people in Africa doing bad things but they have other ways to do it besides diamonds these days that are better for them, so we don't see them. The other uh, economic driver or, uh, or marketplace driver of why conflict diamonds aren't really a thing anymore uh, is synthetic diamonds, the rise of lab-made or synthetic diamonds. Today, if you're, an, if you're a shady jeweler, if you're an unscrupulous owner of a jewelry store, it is much easier for you to buy a lab-made diamond, buy a synthetic diamond, and sell it to your customer pretending it's natural than it is to buy a blood diamond and sell it pretending it isn't. In other words, if you're a bad guy jeweler and want to dupe your customer, you have an easier and more profitable way to do it that, uh, that's right at your fingertips. You can call and order a synthetic diamond and uh, synthetics trade for about the same price as a conflict diamond would. So you're making the same money with a lot less work. Why would you bother to sell a blood diamond? You just sell a fake. So. Because of those two reasons, conflict diamonds really aren't, an, aren't a thing anymore, so you don't really need to worry about it too much. I hope you found that helpful. Again, my name's Dan Moran with Concierge Diamonds. You can find me at conciergediamonds.com. We're on Facebook and Instagram as Concierge Diamonds, or find me on Reddit where I go by Diamond Dealer. Thanks.